companion named Hanzala who uh, came to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. And he said, uh, he said, Asfahtu munafiqan. So I've become a munafiq, this companion named Hanzala. And Abu Bakr al-Siddiq said, Asfahtullah, why, why do you say that about yourself? And he said, well, when I'm in the presence of a messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I'm filled with this intense spirituality. But when I leave his presence, it begins to wane, and then it leaves me. Asfahtu munafiqan. I become a munafiq. And then Abu Bakr Siddiq said, in that case, Asfahtu munafiqan. Right? So they both went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they said, have we become, become munafiqi? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no. You have not. If you were to remain in that state, as you are in my presence, you would be shaking hands with angels in the street. Right? His heart was in the divine presence. His heart was annihilated in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should know that a heart annihilated in the remembrance of Allah produces an inspired tongue. And a tongue inspired to speak by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will affect the world. It will, it must.